Hi viewers. Today I am planning to show you some interesting things. How to avoid the page load on button clicks or some text change, text box changed events or some events fired in the page. It's actually called postback. In postback time, how to avoid the page load? Okay, this is a uh, one interesting topics like every developers want to know that. Okay, fine. Before I'm going to show you that, I just want to run the application and show you what is the things actually why we need to avoid that. My application is building. This is my small application that I have already created. So uh, today I want to show you some uh, facts uh, to avoid the page load. So I am going to use this application here. This is one small inventory application that made by me. This is a inventory page actually. Uh, this is the data that I am binding in a grid view in using a SQL server with C sharp. So I have set of uh, such things like such by company name, invoice, everything. Okay. Now I just want to uh, search by company name uh, with TTT. This is my company name actually. So I want to search by this. So I just click my uh, event search. My page is getting loaded and it throws some result. Actually, uh, this is like uh, the events that handling. Suppose uh, if I am searching the pages, I just scroll over here and I am searching my pages get flickering due to the page load some uh, users don't want to feel this kind of uh, flickering kind of things the people want uh, wherever and uh, they will do they have to place uh, this is like very user friendly to keep the page in a static so how to do that one if i am searching something here invoice or something like it's getting page load on every time it's give the user irritate so it is like totally unwanted th things actually so how to do that one I planning to use one control name as update panel actually this is one valid control by the ASP.NET to give to avoid the page load. So how to add that one? This is my page. This is my design. Actually, I designed some uh, like custom design to uh, give the output like this. OK, fine. Uh, now what I am going to do is I just get my control update panel. It is under ASP tag update panel dot ID some panel one run it equal to server and my content template is this so i cut and place it i just place my content under my content template so that i have to do my validation over here so now I have the update panel. Actually, this update panel is actually the script, but it actually the inbuilt controller. It's need a one script manager. Why need a script manager? Script manager actually used uh, used in a 
a code snippet suppose uh, if you have some kind of plugin you need uh, something like a jquery you are adding some plugins right so like that this is a, a script that a code snippet it's uh, built in on controller name as update panel it needs some basic library to build up an application so we are using the script manager okay fine i added my script manager um again start debugging my application my page is getting loaded my system is little bit it's more slow actually not little bit i am planning to increase my ram to avoid this kind of situations so uh, okay fine i am just moving and checking my pages so are here i just again company name ttt if i am searching now i am not seeing any page load here it will keep on running and it will throw the uh, result like without page load so this is one useful update panel control to avoid a page load it looks like very user friendly suppose if i am selecting something and i am just moving some arrow around here and I'm I type some invoice number. I'm searching. It never do the page load actually, and it's written the result. See how it is. If your system, your servers is very fast, you will feel the difference. So this is one good option that to helps to avoid the page load. It will looks very user friendly. You can use wherever you want to avoid the page load. Thanks for watching the video. Please comment us to improve our service.